All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Leave him, oh, leave him, leave him. It's another person husband. It's another person husband. People don't use eye to see fine man. Leave him. He's married. Can't you see he has a ring in his hand? Can't you see he does? Leave him alone. When you people see a man that is fine like this, all your eyes be choking out up and down. Felicia. He's a married man. No, leave him alone. Leave him. No, man, no. Baby, take Baby. No, it's your phone now. Use it now. You want to make more phone calls? Don't talk in. I'm done talking. Yeah, don't talk in. Eh? So you didn't know it was my phone when, when you came and snatched it from my, from my ear, right? I don't want to talk again. I am very sorry. I'm sorry. You are very sorry. Mm. It's not me you need to apologize to. You will call back my colleague and apologize for what, what you just did. Ah, baby, you will shame. call back. I have shame. Oh, so you have shame. You agree now that you have shame. I'm sorry. Now, I thought this is a woman you're talking to and you're here instead of you to be up there. So I'll be sitting here talking to a woman at this time of the night, night and, and giving up my sleep. For what? I don't know it's the man you're talking to by this time of the night. Have I ever cheated on you? Tell me. Have you ever caught me cheating on you? Is the man you're talking to by this time? You need to stop this thing you're doing. Baby. Is it homo? Baby. God. You're talking to him. Where are you going to now? Eh? I think we're robbed. Robbed by whom? Look, now can't you see we're tied together? It's me that tired, you, so. Why? Which one is why? I was sleeping. God revealed it to me that you want to do something, so I don't want to take chances, so I tie us together. What is the meaning of this, Felicia? Why are you Felicia in me? In the dream, God showed me when you sneak inside the naked room. You were not touching the naked, touching the naked like I, I came to catch you people. What, 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 what kind of dream is that? <laughs> eh? Um, I don't take any chances with you. You're not going to follow Nika. <laughs> hey, God revealed that he went to have been touching the Nika. Hey, ladies, when you continuously accuse your man of cheating, it's draining. It's draining. Because they will continue defending themselves and defending until it gets to a point when they are even tired of defending themselves. If you don't have evidence, Stop accusations. You know, be sorrow. Don't, you know, be firing them with, you know, that this happened, that happened, why this, why that. You know, as you can see, here she was, he's on the phone. She came and grabbed the phone and started talking. Didn't even think to just say hello to find out what's going on first. You know, she rushed and took over the phone, started shouting, backing down the other party's throat. These are accusations that end up at the end of the day, the guy would be tired of the relationship because you can't continuously be accusing somebody without evidence and then expect them not to react. If you have a man that you feel like they are cheating, talk to them about your feelings, but don't continuously be accusing them of something you have not caught them doing. I know there is this talk that all men cheat. It's not true. All men do not cheat. Especially when you are treating your man right. But then, I understand this whole thing about woman's intuition. That's your intuition. It has to give you evidence that is intuitive. You can't just come and be using intuition to be harassing somebody so day in, day out. Because you think something that doesn't exist. If you don't have your facts, don't accuse him. Even if you have to mention it, be nice about it and do not continuously keep pressing what you don't have evidence for this is simple and short thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next clip